In this video, we will be installing the Flexco PT Smart Belt Trainer. Before starting the installation, we will confirm that we have all of the PT Smart components, the IOM packet, and all the required tools. Then once the conveyor has been physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. Now that we've got our conveyor locked and tagged out, and we've picked a location to install the PT Smart, we're going to install our first mounting bracket. Once we've got our bracket secured, we're going to need to take a measurement from a fixed point on the structure and transfer that distance from a fixed point to the other side so that our bracket on that side will be in the same exact location. Now that we've got both of our brackets installed and secured to the conveyor frame, we need to take a measurement between the two brackets. here at 47 and 3 eighths of an inch. That will allow us to accurately extend our extending brackets. Now we need to adjust our extending brackets to match the measurement we took earlier. To do so, we're going to need to back off the set screws and then extend the brackets out and take a measurement to get us to 47 and 3 eighths. It'll take out a little bit there, I think. Okay, what you want to do now is check to make sure that they're extended out the same amount on both sides. You got two and a quarter. Okay. And then we can secure that back with the set screw. Now that we've got our extender brackets adjusted to the proper width, the next thing we need to do is get a belt reference mark. What we'll do is use our level, take cupping out of the belt, level it, and make a mark on our bracket. That'll be our belt reference mark. Now we're ready to install the unit onto our brackets. One thing to make certain of is that the belt direction arrow is pointing in the travel of the belt. Now that we've got the unit situated, we're ready to lift it up into our brackets. What we're going to do is lift it up to the top bolt holes of our extending bracket, line up with the belt reference mark we made earlier. Now that we've lifted the unit up to this location, that will give us the desired one half inch of belt lift. We're ready to install the sensor arm assembly to the unit. Note that you may have to adjust the sensor out to keep from interfering with the belt when installing the bolts. To adjust the PT Smart, we'll first need to break loose the zip ties that held it in place during shipping. With the unit centered up, if the belt is centered onto the unit, we should have one half inch gap between the sensor and the edge of the belt on both sides. In this instance, the belt is mistracked to the offside. So what we'll want to do is pivot the unit up one half inch on that side 
adjust that sensor in until it just touches the bell. On this side, we should have a one inch gap. To adjust the sensor, we'll first need to loosen the locking bolt and loosen the pivot bolt. To adjust it, we'll use the adjusting screw here to go either in or out. And once we've got our desired gap, we'll tighten the locking bolt back down. As well as the pivot bolt. If further adjustments need to be made, they need to be made equally on each side. If we take this side in a half an inch, the other side needs to go out a half an inch. Now we're set up and we're ready to go.